Hi there everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and to my latest cleaning video. In this video I am giving downstairs a quick clean but the main reason I'm filming is because I am deep cleaning my sofa today using a brand new product that I've heard really good things about. To be honest I can't believe I'm going to show you the state of my sofa but here we go. So this is the Zazoosh Carpet and Sofa Foam. It is one pound and I've heard great things about it. Now here is my sofa. It is so stained. It has all these like brown marks where the dog likes to rub against it. But the main issue is watermarks. It's covered in watermarks just from where the kids just live on this sofa all day. I literally can't believe I'm showing you this, but this is what it's like without the throw on the back. It's just marked everywhere. I promise you it's clean, it's not dirty at all. It's just really stained and marked. Nothing that I do seems to clean this fabric. So I thought I'll give this apparently brilliant product a go. It's only a pound. So I got this little handheld scrubbing brush to go with it and I'm gonna give it a go. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happened when I first sprayed it. It kind of just came out in a lump, <laughs> like shaving foam, and it literally went everywhere. But eventually it came out in this nice even spray, and I managed to sort of evenly distribute it across the sofa, and then eventually I'll use my scrubbing brush to scrub it all in. But yeah, careful the first time you press the spray button on this product, because my God, it goes everywhere. So I'm literally gonna do the same on the arms of the sofa as well. The arms are probably the most important bit because these are the bits that are seen because I do put a throw on the back. To be honest, I think the back is beyond saving. So I really wanna make sure that the arms at least look much better than they did before. I really worked up a sweat doing this. <laughs> as you can see, I've had to take my jacket off. decided to go back and give the back of the sofa another go so like a second coat and just do it in small sections rather than spraying the whole thing I do think that this definitely worked better um, so I would recommend doing small sections rather than spraying a large section because it dries quite quickly now the bit I was most bothered about is the corners of the sofa, like the bits so you can see me scrubbing here because the dog just loves to rub against it and these are the bits that really, really bother me when I look at the sofa. So I made sure to scrub extra hard on all of the corner bits. So guys, here is the finished result and you've probably been waiting to see this. <laughs> and as you can tell from my face, I am not overly impressed. Like, I don't know if I'd call this a miracle product. It says to hoover after a couple of hours. So here I am two hours later hoovering it, thinking it will probably be gleaming after I've hoovered it all. But as you can see, it's not really made a huge amount of difference.
Like, yeah, I was expecting all of the watermarks to go and they just, they haven't. So the throw's definitely going back on. It did get rid of all of the like marks made by the dog. That definitely worked. But yeah, watermarks, I don't know. I I'm made the decision that this sofa is probably past saving and maybe we just need to invest in a new one. But as you can see from the scrubbing brush, it definitely gave it a good clean. I managed to get some sort of um, dirt and grime out of the sofa that I didn't know was there. So it obviously did clean the sofa well. But yeah, I think, I think we need a new sofa, guys. These watermarks are here for life, unfortunately. So now I've done the big job of the day. I'm just gonna tidy up downstairs. Clint's feet in this shot. He is always so helpful when I'm cleaning, as you can see. Any subscribers will know I always light a candle to finish. So there you go. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video.